Hey friends, I want to just take a moment out to share a little message about the holiday season. Um, not sure exactly who this message is for, but it probably goes without saying that many folks are experiencing a really tough time right now. And many folks may be feeling a sense of hopelessness and struggle to do simple things, even like just get out of bed on some days. Um, you know, some of us have lost loved ones this year or last year and um, have been working through serious illnesses, either ourselves or with the people who we care about in our lives. Um, so, you know, um, COVID is real, but so is cancer and heart disease and diabetes and other diseases. And um, they don't let up just because we're so laser focused on the virus right now. And their impacts are often equally as debilitating or deadly. So sometimes, um, you know, it's important to just acknowledge that there are a lot of people who are experiencing anxiety and depression at this time. And so the holiday may be triggering for them, um, for us. You know, sometimes even the loss can be to things like political conspiracy theories. Uh, I know personally that there are a lot of people who know someone that they've lost, uh, a son, a daughter, a niece, nephew, uncle, um, etc. Maybe a former close friend or an ally to these insidious, um, manipulative and very cultish untruths. And it's heartbreaking, especially if you're a parent. The point I'm trying to make is that many folks are doing their best just to simply survive right now, um, to continue to try to find the joy. And we know it's there. Um, it's just that when these things happen, it can be a lot harder to find it, um, to stay in the light, to find the reasons to continue getting up each day and getting dressed. Uh, our lifestyles have changed so dramatically that the things that many of us used to do to cope have either been taken away or severely impacted by new COVID protocols. And the fear we have of getting sick or worse is real. I'm not much into material things these days, and there isn't a whole lot that I need unless you're talking about repairs to my house, which is a whole other subject. Um, but I used to really always enjoy traipsing around a thrift store or walking through a mall every now and again and grabbing a soy latte or hot chocolate and looking at all the beautiful lights, especially this time of year. Or maybe even stopping by a holiday party whenever I would get invited and practicing my small talk, um, which I'm terrible at. Or dancing. God, I love dancing. I, I miss that so much. The parties that we used to throw, I'm thinking back now to my 50th birthday and some of you all were there. Um, just wonderful memories forever etched in my mind, but that can't happen right now. Not with the way that things have been over the past couple of years. And the hope that many of us had with vaccinations has now turned to concern, even though I know that um, they'll hopefully keep us from severe illness or, or worse. Um, but I think that with all that what we're carrying right now, um, personally and collectively, it can be a difficult time uh, for many folks who don't really feel like they have anywhere to turn or maybe running out of tools in the toolbox strategy because a lot of our strategies maybe don't work as well right now. And a lot of folks might feel isolated um, in that. I know that I do sometimes, um, especially when we don't name it and be clear that they, that we are not alone. So it's important that we don't hide behind that false wall of positivity because it creates this untrue impression that everyone else is fine, leaving those who are not feeling rather isolated and alone. Um, so what can we do? You know, what can we do about that? Um, I don't want to leave us there. Well, for starters, um, we can start by having more honest conversations with each other. We can learn how to listen and hold space for others and allow them to do the same for us. 
we can talk about what works and what doesn't. Maybe even share strategies for mitigating the hardships. We can certainly support each other in seeking professional support when and where that may be needed, or simply just offer a kind word of encouragement. There are countless ways to demonstrate compassion and to take compassionate actions with each other, but it starts first with ourselves, learning how to be in the place where we are and finding a way to be honest about that with others so that we aren't hiding behind this wall of shame and guilt um, for how we feel during these difficult times. I'm here to tell you that it's okay to be sad um, when sad things happen. Uh, it's okay to grieve the loss of someone or something that's not the same anymore. Um, it's okay not to be okay even because we have to get past the stigma of that and the idea that we always have to present as things are so much better than they actually are because the truth is this the way that we actually i believe the way that we actually get to that place of healing and light is by acknowledging the truth naming the feelings that we're experiencing being in the place where we're at so that we can start to figure out just how the hell to find our way back to something better. But truthfully, we can never go back. We can only move forward. So really, um, it's about um, finding the hope in what lies ahead, as grim as it may feel at times. And it feels damn grim <laughs> right now. Um, but if you think of it this way, you can't plug in directions to get someplace on your navigator system in your phone if you don't first tell the device where you are. So much in the same way, you can't, we can't know how to get someplace better until we first understand exactly where we are. So here's to those folks out there who are doing the best that you can, doing the best that we can to sit with the present reality and who are comfortable with and, and willing to hold space for each other as we wait collectively to see just what comes next. Now, I won't sign off and say happy holidays, but I will say be as well as you can today and every day.